right, this is the moment you all been waiting for. We're gonna be doing Vanos removal. If you watched our other video, you learned how to disassemble the engine bay. Today, we're gonna to be showing you how to remove the valve cover itself so that you can get to your Vanos. Take off the individual ignition coils themselves. So that's how you do that. Lift that tab up and then they come right out. It lifts it out, go ahead. Chop moves out. Pops it out and then you can pull it out. If they don't pull out, if they don't pop out like that, there's something wrong. Go back and close it again and then you can pull it out. They all should just pop out. See the motion? There we go. That one didn't move, so we're going to back and do it again. Okay, we have one of the ignition coil wires that doesn't want to slide out sometimes. They should push out straight like that. If they don't, squeeze them at the base and then they'll pull right out. They have, they have to push out on their own or you can't pull them off. Okay, so now it should be all freed up for you to pull it off. There it is. Excellent. Okay, we're going to show you how to pull the coils out. These come out pretty tough sometimes. You don't want to pry against anything. I stick my finger in the socket hole, put a wrench in here, and pull. And pull. There it is. And you notice there's a little tab here. It's in that cradle. So when they go back, it's important. You notice I haven't pulled any of these out yet. I've left them in their respective holes because I'm going to mark them. I want each call to go back in the right place. Okay, so we got a little numbers pad here. You open it up, we got a bunch of sticky little numbers. We're gonna use these to mark each, each individual coil. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we notice you put one on the coil and then one on the pieces of the va the valve cover there so that you know where to start. Ready. All right, we got them all tagged. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Back to the front, reading left to right, and you can start pulling them out. While you're doing this job, is a good time, good chance to change all your spark plugs, which we'll be doing. Immediately. All right, since we got the coils out, we're gonna plug all those holes so you don't drop anything down there. They're pretty deep and it's no fun to get anything out. So we just use our shop rags. Okay, now that you got those holes all plugged up, it's time to take the valve cover off itself. So as you can see, you got six bolts here in the valve cover. So those are all 10 millimeters. Then you got three here. So a stud here and a stud there. You'll need a, a deep socket. So a deep 10 millimeter for that. That way you can get in there. And then this is also a 10. So go ahead and pull off those 15 bolts. Okay, once you got all those, those stud nuts off, you're gonna notice that you're often left with washers on top of that little rubber grommet. You're gonna be replacing that rubber grommet but these washers, you don't want them falling into your engine when you pull this valve cover off. So go ahead and go through with some needle nose, pull all these off. Okay, before we take off the whole valve cover, um, we're gonna go ahead and take off these spline shaft covers on the Vanos itself. So. You just need to get an HS5 here, plug in. We already got them loosened up, and then we're gonna go ahead and tap these off. So get a rag under there, that way you can catch the oil with it, and then go ahead and tap off. This is where things get oily. Pull them all the way out. There it is. And there's the oil. There's the oil. Ship. Go ahead and catch that with your rag and wipe it off. Reason we're gonna take these two off 
is so that once we have the valve cover off and we want to disconnect the vanos from the camshaft, we can actually push on the shaft here to make it easier. Okay, to get this other cover off, we're gonna have to disconnect this line. Now when you break it loose, make sure that you hold on to the line. Otherwise, it's gonna move on you and you can bend it or break it at worst. So when you're taking this off, be really careful. You got a crush washer in here and then a banjo and another crush washer. Those crush washers are what hold all that pressure and this thing makes 1800 PSI, so you don't wanna lose those. go there's a crush washer and there's a crush washer they're all accounted for they're not inside the engine okay when you're tapping these off make sure you don't take these all the way out because if you do you might lose them when you tap that thing off so go ahead and put your rag under it go and tap the other one off break it loose okay we're gonna get ready to pull this valve cover off we can get the wiring harness out of the way we got one more banjo to take out of here with a dual crush washer and this is a the drain line for the valve cover so we're gonna have to take a wrench and that's a 17 millimeter gonna break it loose and this is where crush washers go bye-bye we're not careful as soon as we get it loose and slip my hand underneath there and get that out of the way there's a crush washer right there Banjo, crush washer, all together. Okay, I'm gonna pull it out. Okay, we're gonna remove the oil cap. Everything's out of the way. And up she comes. Okay, so now that you got the valve cover off, you're gonna to wanna to take this gasket off. Now, you're gonna notice under this gasket, there's a lot of silicone that you need to clean up, but don't scratch this surface. This is aluminum, you need a nice smooth surface. You're gonna replace this gasket. We always recommend doing that whenever you do this kind of job. You're also gonna have silicone on the valve cover itself in this little valley only. And so you wanna take off that old silicone and when you put it back together, put new stuff. All right, you got your valve cover off. It's time to remove the Vanos itself. Let's get to it. <laughs> 